Channel 2 investigates, and let's discuss our aging loved ones. Many have plans for when they're no longer able to make decisions for themselves. But are those plans legally binding? Channel 2's Dave Huddleston found, well, they may not be. Justin and Jovita, it's an incredible story. They're called advanced directives, legal documents that tell your family, doctors, even the court, your wishes for end-of-life care. But we found families who say they lost custody of their loved ones because those advanced directives were not honored. My mother made it clear who she wanted to be her taking care of her and where she was going to live for the rest of her life. In her advanced directives, 94-year-old Ernestine Franks said she wanted to stay in her Pensacola, Florida home and have her son Doug Franks to be her guardian. Doug, who lives in Ackworth, already had power of attorney. But after Ernestine, home alone, was confronted by a scammer, older brother Charles wanted mom to move near his home in New Orleans. He says he contacted his mother's trust, who suggested private guardianship. And he stated it's the biggest mistake he's made in his life. The brother's dispute landed in court. In August 2012, a Florida probate judge said Doug was unsuitable and unfit to act as guardian because of the dispute. We got in trouble because we wanted the best and we had different opinion, opinions what was the best for our mom. Ernestine's advanced directives were voided and a private guardianship company took control of her well-being and a trust manager of her millions of dollars for retirement. You know, it was sad. The entire way, I drove back knowing I let my mom down, and she's never let me down. According to court records, the son's visits with their mother were limited and mostly supervised. Doug says multiple private guardians spent thousands from Ernestine's trust on food, care, and fighting the brothers in court. It's a dark cloud that's over us all the time. They can override the advance directive. Elder attorney Danielle Humphrey says Georgia probate judges rarely void advance directives, and private guardianship in Georgia is non-existent. But it can affect Georgians with loved ones in other states and places with a higher retirement population, like Florida. It's big business. Possession's nine-tenths of the law, and unfortunately, they become, once they're under guardianship, they're like your child. Humphrey says when a loved one lives out of state, it puts them at risk. She says private guardianship companies and individuals can take advantage of an isolated elder. They're in it for the money. That, it's a business, so they're going to treat your mother or your father like a business. According to the National Guardianship Association, nearly 3,000 jurisdictions regulate guardianships nationwide, each one with different rules. And guardianship data isn't tracked, so abusive practices, even the number of guardians nationwide, is unknown. <laughs> After a four-year fight, the Franks brothers say the guardianship company gave up this November because the cash dried up, nearly $2 million. They consider it a blessing to have their mother back. I was lucky as hell. The key is to try to help other people too so this doesn't happen to them. And we spoke to other families who say probate judges voided their loved ones' advance directives. Typically, guardianship records are sealed, so it's hard to know why a judge thought a company would be a better guardian than the family member named in that advance directive. Of course, it can be so frustrating. We all have aging parents that yeah. we have to care for, so is there anything that families can do to be better prepared? There definitely are. We talked to experts, and they said there are a couple of things you can do. First, move closer to your loved one or move them to you. Criminals prey on elders isolated from family and get along. The dispute about mom is what landed the Franks brothers in probate court in the first place. When there is a family conflict, judges are often at a loss over what to do. Right, so make a decision, try to keep it together and out of court to begin and with. And get along. Yeah. All right, Dave, thank you.